What's up, everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today. Today, we're going to be looking at Fortnite. Now, I know I played that once before, but I just basically turned everything to max, played for like five minutes, and that was it. So this time, we're going to go, you know, laptop 1080p, you know, 1440p external, ultra-wide external, and 4K external like we normally do. And then, of course, if anybody wants to see 1080p external, just let me know, and I can obviously include one of those as well. But anyway, let's get into some of that gameplay. All right, let's just quit look at all these display settings and quality settings. They're all in one screen, so we can do this all in one take for a change. A lot of games split them up, but made sure to put the 3D resolution up to 100%. This is another game where low turns it way under the resolution that you're running at. We're doing DirectX 11 this time. We'll do 12 next. And with that, I'd say it's time to get into the gameplay. All right, here we go, jumping out of the bus on low. Not very spectacular FPS. But, much like in Minecraft and a couple other games I've played recently, it's just not using much of the GPU. 500 hertz, up to 800 for a second. Hey, there we go, we hit a gigahertz for a second there, but yeah. Normally this thing's way higher than that, like 23 to 2400. Sometimes even hitting 2500 for a second or two. This is terrible. Hopefully, DirectX 12 is better. Ooh, I found a gun. Because this is just abominable. Ooh, more guns. Anything else in here? Ooh, more guns. Well, I'm about all gunned out. Ooh, chess. I'm single handedly winning this whole thing. Ooh, and I found gold. What's in here? Oh, cool. Ammo box. And a sniper. Eh. There we go. Alright, they're the same. Alright, just wanna make sure I wasn't giving up a better shotgun, you know? Interpol oxygen, an uncommon one, huh? Alright, well, let's take that instead of the pistol. Is that the same? Yep, okay. Alright, let's cruise on back here into the water. And now let's go on to some camera gameplay. Alright. <clears throat> some camera recorded gameplay on low now. Tried to get some in the last game, but then I was killed pretty much immediately, like 30 seconds after hitting record. And I was like, nope, that's nowhere near enough. All right, you're probably gonna go to that house. I don't really want to contest. I just want to show how the game runs. Anybody else following me? Don't know how to build anything in this game. There we go, now I at least have a gun. So at least that's something. Actually drive, but then I'd probably just alert a bunch of people to my location. Hmm. 
But yeah, much like Minecraft, this game just doesn't make, make the GPU use itself. So it just sits around at like 500 megahertz. And then you get like terrible frame rates. And we know it's using it because it's sitting here using 60% of it. So I know it's not just using the integrated. But if anybody else knows why it's so terrible, uh, please let me know. Because if somebody had some insight in the Minecraft video, I just had that completely done wrong. Right. I'd rather have a gun. Thank you. Seems like this is one of those games where you can only have so much stuff in your inventory. You don't just have an endless amount. Firefly jar. I don't know what the F that does, but I don't care right now. Uh, okay. For a second, I thought that was a person, but I doubt that. It's got to be some NPC thing. Some kind of tent. Ooh, cool chest. Ooh, a shotgun. Oh, yeah. SMG, huh? Well, all right, that is plenty of camera gameplay. Now we'll take a very quick look at the medium settings here. Made sure to do the 3D resolution all the way up, though. No motion blur or V-Sync or any of that, DirectX 11. And now we get into the gameplay. Okay, now we're doing some medium screen recorded gameplay now. Sounds like somebody's having a gunfight over there to the left somewhere. Very ominous looking clouds in the distance over there. Christmas lights on trees and stuff. Must be still be Christmas themed. Yeah, I'm very excited to trust DirectX 12. Some games it turns into a stuttery mess, some games it makes completely better than, or makes uh, playable, which weren't playable in uh, DirectX uh, 11 mode like this one, because this is terrible. Because even when I'm not screen recording, I mean, I get a couple frames back, but I still am full of the stutter. And stutter is no good in a first-person shooter. I can literally mean you miss a shot. Make it so you can't turn around fast enough to shoot somebody in the, uh, shooting you in the back. Just as a couple of examples. Alright, let's cross this little tiny river here. Hey, I got some XP for finding a place. Oh, cool, I can hide in here and we can start some camera recorded gameplay. All right, I dove into some trash so I could uh, get my camera set up here so we can get some camera recorded medium 1080p gameplay here. Still pretty stuttery. Not quite as bad as it was while I was recording, but still. I still think it has to do with that GPU. It just won't clock up very high. I don't know why. Well, there we go. 
went to two gigahertz for a second there and we got 200 frames per second but then it lost it ow that was stupid of me now I'm going to be easy pickings I'm a noob at this game I'm already easy pickings let's be honest here For a second, I thought somebody had already been here, but I think this house was already previously destroyed like this. <clears throat> hmm. No, I can't get out there. Oh, I thought I saw a chest. I did. Alright, cool. Alright, and with that, it's about time to end this and move on to the next setting. Hi, settings now. Everything on the top here is going to be exactly the same, but graphics quality, we have uh, set everything to high, at least as far as the auto set quality is concerned anyway. And then I turned off vSync, motion blur, all that garbage, and this is DirectX 11 mode. And now, gameplay. Okay, we're on the bus now, on high. Getting a, a whopping 40 frames per second here. Alright, let's jump. I'm just absolutely like dumbfounded at how trash the FPS is. soldier guy. Alright, let's find some loot. Some bandages. Hey, there's a chest. I thought I heard one. Awesome. Get my gun out in case somebody drops by to visit. Oh, some wood. Let's just run along this beach front area here. Because as much as I'd love to go fight people, I am trash at this game. And then they'll kill me, and then we won't have enough time to check out how the game runs. Still, I kill a couple people here and there. Ooh, another chest. Ooh, a sniper. Hell yeah, that's always useful. And a shield potion. Hey, I have a boat. Alright, let's hide behind this house. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, let's hide behind the house, and now we'll start camera recording gameplay. Alright, trying some high camera recorded gameplay now. Hopefully somebody won't kill me within the first, like, 20, 30 seconds. And as you can see, we're not very getting very good performance. But our GPU is barely even trying, so I have, I have a sneaking suspicion that's something to do with it. So if anybody knows why this game's not clocking the GPU up, just uh, let me know in the comments. I would uh, very much like to know what the hell is wrong with this game, because if it can play Warzone and whatnot, and PUBG, and all these other way more advanced 
uh, FPS games, why should it have trouble with Fortnite? A game which most cell phones and tablets can play at 60 FPS plus, you know? Still going to just keep on trucking along for you guys, though. Even though it's not getting the best FPS, I still want to show you guys how it runs. Good or bad. Oh, that's a fish. I thought there was a person in the, in the water just kind of chilling there. shotgun all right since we're off in the middle of nowhere probably use my sniper rifle because I'll probably see somebody in the distance It's time to switch to the next graphics setting, so let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Last up, we are maxing the game out on epic quality. So let's just look at what that looks like here in the settings menu. No V-Sync or motion blur. DirectX 11 mode still. And I think we can move on to some gameplay. Alrighty. Epic settings now. Well, we're getting a little bit more GPU utilization, but we're still getting pretty trash FPS. Oh, nope, no time for that wood now. We gotta go. Oh, shit. Well, I'm probably toast. But whatever, I'm just gonna keep on running for as long as I can, because then at least we'll hopefully get around two minutes of uh, gameplay footage here before I die. I thought maybe if I went off that would there be a shortcut up these mountains? Nope. All that pride did was assure that I was going to die. Wow, we dropped down to 22 FPS there for a second. Get out of my way, Root. Alright. Some random guy down there with some talk bubble over his head, but I don't got time for that right now. We gotta go, or we will surely die. There's a chest over there. Two chests, but don't have time for that either. Yep, no way I'm catching that. Even if I found some vehicle right now, there's no way I would make it. I am dead. Dead as a door now. I just shoot wildly out of the sky for no reason at all. Maybe confuse some people. Eh, place 27. Couldn't have done worse. But, let's move on up and get on with some camera gameplay. All right. Ultra camera recorded gameplay now. To the mountains. Hey, look at that! It's getting over 50 or over 500 megahertz on the GPU. As soon as I hit the ground, though, it's probably gonna drop right down to like 500 again. Let's see anybody else around? There's somebody over there.
All right, we got a weapon. All right, let's go check for more loot in this house over here. I was wrong, it seems like it's staying well above 500 megahertz. Helps to go through the uh, actual door and not try to walk through a window, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't really need that. Take the shot. SMG. Alright, I don't have any squad members to reboot, so. Yeah, surprisingly, it's the smoothest on uh, Epic. Fancy that. But still not clocking that GPU up as high as it could go. That thing's usually at like 23 to 24, uh, 100 megahertz. But anyway, I'd say it's about time we wrap this video up. Well, all right, we're all done with Fortnite now, at least at 1080p, uh, DirectX 11. But since there's different modes, I figured why not go do DirectX 12 mode? Figured some people might be interested to see how that runs, even if it's way worse. Heck, maybe it's better. Maybe it'll actually uh, utilize my GPU and not 500 megahertz or whatever. And I'm almost positive that's why we're getting such low frame rates. Because we got, and we also got smoother frame times the higher graphic setting we pushed. So there's definitely something a little wonky there. But again, like I said previously in my video a couple times probably, if anybody knows why it's doing that uh, just let me know I am definitely not to the be all know it all of everything so I definitely want to learn more and fix things if they're fixable but anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and until the next one peace out everyone